everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is on the fish aquarium tour. So I'm going to give a tour of my fish aquarium. Okay folks, so today I'm going to share the hobby we have is actually for tropical fish aquarium. So our aquariums 34 gallon, so it's not going to be a really big aquarium, but definitely meets our needs. Uh, so we have a number of tropical fish over here and tiger bars. Uh, you got some black skirts, you got some mollies, you know, there's a Dalmatian molly here as well. So, yeah, the layout is very simple, you know, and there's actually a little hiding area in the back over there. You know, sometimes the fish want some privacy or you just want to, you know, hide it hide out or something that way so we have a place for that notice that we have a thermometer there and the thermometer keeps the temperature warm and uh, we have a set at 75 degrees fahrenheit right now and the fish like to swim around where you're standing at so you can see them coming in my direction right now in particular because you know like i'm standing over here so the light is on we have a led light uh, that's on right now and there's actually also a blue light so we didn't splurge a lot on the, the lighting system we actually those get really expensive so we do have rocks on the bottom surface notice that there's actually uh, a aquarium vacuum that you could get to clean out the rocks every time we change the water and we change the water around two to three weeks or so so you keep the water clean and you actually could test the water quality if you really like to do that and at the same time those plants are fake so we didn't want to add some extra algae into the the system and like i mentioned before we have a filtration system that we do change the filter every time we change the water and yes we have a heater over here to keep the, the tank warm and yes there's a crack on the top glass over there which we're trying to find replacement so we're trying to look for that replacement so the fishers like to chase each other around. Uh, the tiger barbs like to also like to nibble on some of the, the fins and some of the other fish over here. We had one tropical fish that lasted around seven years then decided to go away. But other than that, I mean, most of the fishes last about two or three years, but not all. So some of them instantly when you get them and after a while, they just um, will not make it. So just keep that in mind. These fish may not last forever. And you know so there's different type of fish that you could actually blend together and some of them you can't so these we could blend together so if you say we have these and you want to mix it with a goldfish or a koi yeah that's not going to be a good idea or also fish that are more aggressive so that's the thing that you want to know if you're doing uh, a also an aquarium for tropical fish you make sure you have uh, maybe say tetras mollies and and such right so you don't want to mix up with a lot of different fish uh the aquarium actually you know is, is well maintained right now we don't have problems with algaes or anything like that in particular we do change the water and we also put a solution in there so i'm going to talk about what we use in there but you can look at it the fish like to follow us around and the, especially the tiger barbs they're really beautiful uh, in person more than in the video and you got the dalmatian and you also got the the black skirts we have two of those over there you can see it and uh you know we put in the corner away from the sunlight so that's really the, the best location for it and i even added a ups system for it so suppose the the power goes out at least it has oxygen with the filtration system that cleans the water at the same time one of the things you learn if you decide to have aquarium is uh, you never overfeed your fish. If you overfeed your fish, they would die. So it's probably a better idea sometimes to underfeed it. So, you know, so I'm going to show you what I use to, to feed them at the same time. So, and the decorations here are probably average. Uh, if you have some better decorations, you know, let me know in the comments so I could check it out. And I don't want to spend a lot of money on mines in particular. But definitely that's something that uh, would come in uh, handy to make the tank more beautiful for others to look at. And the fish overall like to swim around and uh, trail you where you stand. So you notice that they're coming to the left side of the tank right here because I'm standing next to the left. So let's show you what's inside, what I feed them with. 
And what did they feed these uh, tropical fish with? Well, you feed them with tropical flakes like these, you know. Uh, you don't want to feed them a lot. We actually feed ours every two days and just say a pinch or so, maybe two pinches at most, right? You don't want to go too much above that. So maintaining the tank, you definitely need some ingredients to do. Uh, notice that we have used the API uh, product quite a bit and it's a quick start, right? It's uh, immediate uh, when it starts the tank cycle and also when you change the water. So you want to use some of these stuff over here. And uh, you know, we're using tap water, so you need to add the other one. And this was for a quick start for ammonia and such, right? So, um, also at the same time, we do have the itch one. We ne never had that problem anymore, so we still have the, the bottle there. And also, we have the algae control, which we haven't used for quite a while. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out if you decide to have a fish aquarium. And uh, this one's tropical fish. Uh, comment below. Please leave it below if it helps others. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.